Uh, okay, this is um, just one of uh, uh, just an example of uh, how you can combine techniques, and this is obviously a combination of sweep picking and legato. And of of course, there's some techniques that um, that are easier to combine than others. A uh, good example would be legato uh, combined with tapping. Um, but I th really think that uh, the legato technique really um, works great with sweep picking because it, uh, it sort of opens up your ideas and, and your creativity when you are combining these two techniques. Obviously you can also do so with, the, uh, with many other techniques, but this is just uh, my, uh, one of my little ideas um, com combining these techniques. And, uh, and as I said also uh, in the previous video, if you saw that one, um, the combination of techniques really uh, uh, gives you new possibility and I th really think that uh, it opens up uh, for the creativity in general. I always use um, a variety of different stuff like I also talked about in the last video, stuff like uh, combining techniques as we do here in this video, but also um, what scale to choose, what scales to choose, or do you want to work on something that uh, involves arpeggios or more like scales and bends and slides, stuff like that. Uh, now I also get into new techniques <clears throat> when I mention slides, but but um, also this uh, is also a cool way to combine uh, uh, stuff like that we, we both use arpeggios and scales. So that's again a combination and I really think this well, it just kicks the creativity in the butt if you do stuff like that. And um, But I want to show you uh, my example here. And uh, hopefully this can also uh, start some, give you some uh, new ideas for, for some of your own stuff. So let's zoom in a little bit on what the hey I'm doing. Right, so the first thing I do is, uh, another thing I also combine uh, is uh, different scales here and different arpeggios. Uh, the first thing I do is I play a D major arpeggio, but I actually you make use of uh, the the speed picking or the economy picking concept since because I start with an up and then down, 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 and then immediately when I hit the high E string I play 14, 16 on the G string, then moving into the B string playing 15 and the high E string 14. Then I start the legato phrase, and this is uh, the legato phrase that I play here in uh, combination with the D major arpeggio is just a chromatic scale. So from 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 the E string, the high E string, 14th fret, I hammer onto 15, 16, 17, and pulling off those notes again. Then I go into the B string with a hammer on um, to keep that legato sound. I, I avoid using. Uh, picking strokes as much as possible. So I'm moving with a hammer on to the B string, 18th fret, pull off to 17, 16, 5, 15, and then as soon as I hit 15, I slide down to 14 and hammer on to those notes again, uh, 15, 16, 17, and pull off again. And then from here, I move into a new arpeggio. In this case, it's the B minor, so it's the relative minor to the D major. So once I'm down here, the second time I'm down on 14 here uh, on the B string, I uh, sweep up with my ring finger over the G and D string uh, 16th fret and then into 17 on the um, A string. Here I pull off to 14 and slide all the way down to the 9th fret. And here I play a 4 note per string uh, pattern, legato pattern. So I hit, um, slide into 9 here and I hammer on to 10. 12, 14, back again to 12, 10, and 9. And then I move into the low E string in yet another phone up a string pattern. So I hammer on again to keep that legato sound. Hammer on to the 12th fret and pull off to, pull off to 10, 9, 7. And from here I go into yet another B minor arpeggio. I hammer on back to 10 and I roll my ring finger over the A and D string in 9th fret. And this is obviously um, two downstrokes and then three downstrokes here on the G, B and E string where I roll my index finger over the 7th fret. And then I hammer on to the 10th fret and I slide into the 14th fret. And here I play yet another uh, row of 
um, legato uh, phrasing here, and this time I'm using three note per string pattern uh, patterns. I pull off from 14 to 12 and 10, and then I move into with a hammer on again to the 14th fret B string, pull off to 12 and 11, and I hammer on to those notes again, and pull off again. Then I move into the G string with yet another hammer on with the little finger, pulling off to 11 and 9. And here I shift around the fingering because this uh, just works for me um, because I move into yet another uh, B minor arpeggio, but this time in the, the next inversion. So I hammer on back to 11 with my long finger and I sweep up here to the, with the ring finger on the 12th fret and to the index finger on the 10th fret. And then I play an upstroke here. Uh, with the little thing on the 14th fret and then I slide it up to the 19th fret and I pull that off to the 14th fret and I sweep down here with an upstroke to the 15th fret and 16th fret with the ring finger. Back again to 15 and 14 on the high E string. Once I reach the 14th fret again here on the high E string I go into yet another phone per string pattern and I hammer on to 15, 17, 19 and pull off again. And then I move into the B string just with a hammer on, with a little finger, and pull off to 15, and 14, and 12, and I did here on the B. So this uh, example is actually a combination of many different things. First of all, it's sweep picking, it's legato, it's uh, three and four note uh, string patterns. Then it's a combination of the of the major scale uh, and the, and its relative minor. Uh, and combined with uh, the chrom chromatic scale and then also um, slides, a, a few quite awesome slides that also adds to the overall sound. So this is a combination of many different techniques and uh, I really hope that this inspires you to try out uh, different things and also remember one more uh, very important thing is don't be afraid to, uh, to come up with something that you don't like immediately. It's just a, about getting your creativity going. And um, so if, if you write something then in a, in a week you think it sucks, then just throw it away and try again, come up with something new because this is the way to, that you become good at uh, coming up with new stuff. And you really get a special, uh, uh, how can I express this? You get a, a special, um, relationship to the stuff that you make up yourself. It really makes so much sense to uh, practice your own stuff um, and often also uh, well makes you practice even more than if, if you're just uh, copying other people's stuff. Uh, of course uh, copying other people's stuff we all do that and I do that um, because this is what in many cases inspires to playing new stuff and just learning new stuff so it's not like there's anything wrong with that because well we all do it so, uh, but I just hope that you will also uh, start working on your own stuff because it really makes a lot of sense while you, to, to practice while you, when you come up with your own stuff. So, see you soon.